and then we worked on what is the gold standard treatment for OCD, which is exposure and response therapy. And I'm sorry, uh, it's what? Go, uh, exposure and response therapy, ERP. Okay. Which okay. that's kind of the gold standard for OCD. The um, they've integrated now uh, some mindfulness to okay. uh, address some of the limitations of that cognitive behavioral approach, but. Uh, what I needed and what I benefited greatest from at that time was the exposure and response therapy um, that that we worked on, and, and really, and, it, you know, I have I haven't run across that term sure. before. Can you kind of give us a thumbnail description of how that works? Yeah, and I probably won't do it justice, but simply it, it, at its its simplest form, it's 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 structuring anxiety into your day. So it it's it's saying, okay, we have. Um, this particular uh, intrusive thought causes me a tremendous amount of anxiety, um, you know, and so I wash my hands as a result of that. I wash my hands a hundred times and, and, and again, untreated, the next time I wash it 102 times and then the next time I might, I touch that doorknob, mm -hmm. I might wash it 110 times and it just keeps going, right? So what we would do is you come up with, um, how do I put it, a hierarchy of your toughest obsessions, the most feared obsessions, the ones that cause you the most anxiety and, and the ones that cause you the least anxiety. And you start to work with the ones that are at about a three level on a scale of one to 10. Every, so there, there's some other scales, different hospitals have different, different treatment centers have different um, uh, scales, but one to 10 is, is one scale you can use and you work kind of at that three. And so let's say that's touching the doorknob. So you would touch the doorknob and instead of washing your hands 110 times, let's say we, we're going to do it 107. And we're going to try that for seven days straight. And it literally is, is just a methodical, um, it, it, it does get very, very tricky and much more um, convoluted and nuanced than that. But it's such a methodical uh, and painful painful you're structuring anxiety into your day purposefully uh but mm. approach to therapy so it is very it is uh, you come up with um like i said a hierarchy and then you don't you're not doing the hardest thing you're not you know if you have a fear of snakes you're not wrapping a snake around your neck it's not a 10 but you started around a three and then once you habituate the idea is that the anxiety habituates 